thank you. I, uh, standing ovation, I appreciate that. And uh, I know Johnny somewhere is appreciating that. Well, it's great to see you. Thank you nice know, it really you. is great to see you because I feel this is like, I don't know, it's just, it's very emotional to see you now. And I'm glad, I'm well, glad I, you could take the time to come here I, I, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. And uh, I had quite a day yesterday. You can imagine uh, Jeff Sotsik called me at 7 a.m. And uh, I had one of those days crying, laughing all day long. And I just saw, by the way, your essay. Was that marvelous, that essay he did? Oh, about that? Well, really nice. uh, it's, all, it's all true, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the clips, you know, and I, I was there, but I see him again, I laugh all over again. <laughs> yeah, and I've got hope for you. You know, Johnny would always add some lightness, so I have a little lightness for you. My son, Jeff, you just met him, he's yeah. with me. Driving over, he told me, he's got a little five-year-old, my granddaughter, Sarah McMahon, right? Sarah Michael McMahon. So she's watching some of these clips and she said, she turns, she says, granddaddy lost his best friend. And uh, Jeff, Jeff said, that's right. She says, well, who in the world's gonna replace him? Oh, yeah. Isn't that something? Cause yeah. she thinks the show is still on oh, okay. and he's gone. Right. So there's a chance you could come in. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, I don't think so. But I wanna tell me about the early days. Cause you guys work together yeah. You know, it's funny, when you look at this set, and you see this thing costs like a million bucks, and I would watch the early Tonight Show set, and it was like cheap cardboard, oh, and it you know, was if you like see they didn't a, believe in it, did they? If you see an early picture, <laughs> there was a riser. You know, you've got a nice stage yeah. here, but there was a riser. They, NBC didn't bother to carpet the front of the riser. <laughs> yeah. You could see the hinges where they folded right. up. They thought we wouldn't last that long. You know, they didn't <laughs> carpet that. But anyway, the early days, it was a cheesy set. You know, we had artificial flowers. Right. You know, it was just a, you know, we might make it, you know, it was one of those things we never knew. And uh, it was so wonderful, you know, to be with him, you know, right at that, at that very, very beginning. And uh, he, you know, he said something to me and it's been said on the air before, but I think it really explains Johnny Carson totally. We were walking down Studio 6B, you've been in that New York, and we were walking down the stairs going down the first day, October 1st, 1962. And I'd worked with him for four years. I knew him, I knew everything about him, and I thought, anyway, we're walking down. I said, Johnny, let me ask you something, a little advice. I, how do you see my role down here tonight? And he said, Ed, I don't know how I see my own role. Let's just go down and entertain the hell out of him. Yeah, that's And boy, did he do that. He yeah. did a hell of a job. How long did you think it would last? I mean, did you get notes from network executives and things like that? Like you well, you, you never knew. You know, I think figured, you know, Steve Allen done a little more than four, right. Parr did almost five, I think. So I thought five years, you know, pretty good. I lived in Philadelphia the first three years. I had just built a house. I'm not going to move up to New York, a show that might make make yeah. it. Why would I do that? Yeah, you know, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> smart five move. Years, yeah, yeah. yeah, five years, I figured, well, seven. So we did seven. I figured, well, then 10. And finally, I, my goal was 15. We'll do 15 years. Yeah. What a great story. It'll be wonderful. After that, I just forgot about it. And you know how I'd know that we were going to do any more? In a commercial break, he'd look at me and he said, should we do another year? I said, yeah. He said, OK, I'll, I'll tell him we'll do another year. <laughs> <laughs> And Johnny was a very complex guy. I mean, I don't pretend to know him. I'd been to dinner and I'd been to his yeah, house, but yeah. it was, it was. I mean, it, explain a little bit, because he, he seemed incredibly shy. Yeah, he was, oh, to totally shy. You know, he was great with 10 million people, yeah. lousy with 10. <laughs> you know, the worst thing in the world, and I did something to him. We had a show called Bloopers and Practical Jokes. You <laughs> yeah. may remember with Dick Clark. Yeah, yeah. And he produced it, his company produced it. So he caught me leaving the, gate here with stuff loaded in the backseat of my car, my limousine, and I thought I was going to be arrested, you know, with all this stuff in the back. I thought my driver had done something wrong. He caught me, nailed me, all right? So I figured I'm going to get back at him. He went to Wimbledon, and we set up a thing in Wimbledon. We made him go to a cocktail party. Brandon Tartikoff says, you've got to go to this party. Got him to the party, and all these actors, beautiful British actors, were doing this gibberish. They were talking gibberish, and he was there, and he hated every minute of it. And the guy would say, oh, Mr. Carson, you've, you're from all, all, for, for the continent. Oh, I was wondering, have you ever been to London before? Because I know this one, and then I knew. But then, and they're doing all this gibberish, and Johnny is there, and you can see the sweat starting from the eyebrows, you know, going down. And he's going, <laughs> but so, yeah, no, that's so nice. And he's looking for some place to hide, right? 
He almost killed me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he was so mad when he got the nail. <laughs> now, we, we put together some famous, uh, favorite moments of you guys yes. together. Some you may have seen, but I think we have some people I haven't seen yet. Take a look. The great sage, seer, soothsayer, famous mystic, all omniscient, and former tax advisor to Governor Reagan, <laughs> Karnak the Magnificent. They see if you look an animal right in the face and talk to them, you, you'd say, then you know, you're not scared. <laughs> the real beef could be the reason. Hernandez here. <laughs> you heard him cry. Come here, dear. Come on. Come here. Here it is. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Right here. There you go. Okay. He's a little frightened. I'll put it down further. Here you are. There you go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, dog. Well, Hernandez is a little, little spot. Yes, please. Come right, yes, please. Hernandez, nice Hernandez. Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> next time you find yourself <laughs> looking at the can, dog, so, yes, nice Hernandez. <laughs> Reach for the can that contains real beef. Alpha. That way you can be sure of giving your dog the meat byproduct and the beef he loves. Now, doesn't your dog deserve Alpha? <laughs> Karnak is attempting to divine an answer while you're sitting here giggling. May I have silence, please? Yes. You've had it many times before. <laughs> What are these back here? What are these? I saw them here last night. <laughs> They're left over from that bit we did with the pancake thing. Oh, two weeks ago. We did before that, you went to Honolulu. That lady was on the that? show two weeks ago yeah. with the pan. Yeah, they're done. And we're now. still here? <laughs> They're ready. Get the syrup. <laughs> Cleaning lady didn't make They've it this been week. Huh? Here, yeah. Look at this. You yes. believe this. Oh, as, what a what a mess. As Billy DeWolf says, Mr. DeWolf says, Mrs. Beamish. Now, why are you putting that all over on me? I just cleaned you off. I wasn't oh, trying. I was just cleaning off the desk. Right here, right here. <laughs> all right. Why don't we, uh... <laughs> do that. Stop. I knew this would get out in public sooner or later. <laughs> wow. Look, I know, uh, I know they got you running today, and I yeah, really appreciate I you go. taking the time to thank come back and see much. us. Ed, thank you thank so you. much. Great. Ed McMahon, be right thank back with Bob Newhart and Don Rickles. Is Johnny. At 2 o'clock, you wake your husband up. and play the accordion? I wait when my husband takes a bath, and then I'll, then I'll take my accordion, sit on a toilet seat, John. <laughs> yeah. At our home site, friends, there are lots of fun outdoor activities, such as quicksand jogging. <laughs> and friends, that's your right. And <laughs> On your chair. On your chair.
Do you have any phobias at all? Phobias? Anything that really... Phobias. A natural fear of something. Well, a lot know... of people are afraid of the dark. Ed has acrophobia. Right. A fear of heights. Yeah. Yes. We haven't prepared this. Uh, well, we... I'll tell you what leapt to my mind. You know, we are sub I do not like balls coming toward me. Hi. Do you mind if I talk to you for just a minute? I just want to say a few words about diarrhea. I dare you to knock this battery off my shoulder. Come on, I double dare you. My pantyhose make me look like I'm not wearing nothing. My pantyhose make me look like I'm not wearing nothing. Now, hold it, you little teasers. Now, come on. <laughs> Admit it, you're really wearing something, aren't you? Yes, we are. Well, I'm not. 